Hi everyone, welcome to this session. In this session, I am continuing bar graph data interpretation. First of all, we need to read the information carefully and then we need to solve the questions according to the given information. First of all, uh, see the information which is provided in this bar graph. Here, the information is about uh, number of soldiers recruited in three different forces in six different uh, years. Here, the information is very clear. That is, uh, how many soldiers are recruited in three different forces. In three different forces in the sense, uh, one is Army, one is Air Force, one is Navy. These are the three different forces uh, over the years from 2005 to 2010, 6 years, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009 and 2010. One more is uh, here the first values are all first bars are Army, second bars are Air Force, third bars are Navy in each and every year. And one more thing, the values which are provided in the bar graph in terms of uh, thousands. In terms of thousands. So, whatever the value is given, you need to multiply that value with the thousand. Whenever he mentioned in terms of thousands, uh, we need to multiply whatever the value is provided. You need to multiply that value with the thousand. Suppose if it is given in terms of hundreds, we need to multiply with the if it is uh, given in terms of lakhs, we need to multiply with the uh, lakh. Now, here one more thing is uh, in the sum of the graphs, uh, values directly given, but here values are not directly given and uh, the scale is uh, 0 to 100, 0 to 100 in this bar graph uh, and the gap between each and every scale is 10 every scale is 10 whenever the line is in between any two that is exactly in the middle consider that is exactly in the middle suppose if you observe 2005 the first bar is in between 10 and 20 so this value becomes 15 this value becomes uh, 15 here if you observe the third bar which is in between 0 and 10 that is equal to 5 like that you need to take the values if it is in between 70 and 80 that becomes 75 like that we need to take the values okay this is the complete information regarding uh, this particular paragraph uh, now according to that we need to solve the questions look at the first question which is given what was the average number of soldiers recruited in navy Average number of uh, soldiers recruited in Navy over all the years together. Here we need to calculate the average number of uh, Navy soldiers uh, over all the years. As we all know that average is equal to what? Average is equal to sum of observations, sum of observations divided by total number of observations total number of uh, observations, sum of observation by number of observation or total number of observation, whatever it is. As we want to calculate the average of Navi, we need to take the numerator value as uh, sum of Navi candidates. First, write down all Navi candidates. Navi candidates are third bars. In each and every year, third bar is related to Navi. So, here if you observe carefully in 2005, this is Five. And 2006, 10, 2007, 15, 2008, here this value is 30, this value is 30 and uh, 2007 value, if you observe this line, this is in between 10 and 20, that is the reason why we are keeping it as 15, okay. And next 2009, 2009 is exact line which is 40. And 2010, that is also exact value, which is 50. And every value is given in terms of thousands. So, after adding all the values, uh, we don't want to add this one. You need to add all the Navi values. After adding all these values, uh, you just multiply with thousand. That is the only thing you need to do it. Okay. Here, 5 plus 10 
plus 15 plus 30 plus 40 plus 50 into 1000 into 1000 whole divided by whole divided by number of observations how many values we have taken into consider 1 2 3 4 5 6 so the denominator value is 6 number of years number of years 6 now you can add these two you can add all these values here if you observe carefully 50 40 90 90 plus 30 120 120 plus 10 120 plus 10 130 130 plus 20 150 150 in 2000 divided by 6 here you can cancel 6 table and uh, 150 definitely it will cancel see here 6 twos, uh, 6 twos, uh, and uh, 12 and uh, still 3 is left over 30 30 means 6 fives uh, 25 into 1000 which is equal to 25000 25000 that is the average of soldiers recruited in the navy in the force of uh, navy over all the years together 25000 25000 is the right answer for this question among the options uh, option a is the right answer for this question option a let us look at the second question number of soldiers recruited in navy in the year 2009 was what percentage of uh, soldiers recruited in army in the year 2006 that is very important uh, here we need to calculate the percentage what percentage we need to calculate uh, here navy candidates navy candidates in the year 2009 that particular value what percentage of army candidates army candidates uh, in the year 2006 in the year 2006 as we want to calculate the percentage you need to multiply that value with 100 and put the percentage symbol at the end here navy 2009 that value was what percentage of uh, army 2006 here let us look at 2009 2009 is this one navy is third bar navy is third bar what is third bar value this one is the value look at this line that is 40 this value 40 so the numerator value becomes uh, 40 navy 2009 which is equal to 40 as every value is given in terms of thousands so no need of writing in 2000 why because denominator is also in 2000 both values will be cancelled and next uh, 2006 that is this one coming to army army is the first bar first bar value this is a value here if you observe this value it is in between 20 and 30 so this value becomes uh, 25 this value becomes 25 so the denominator value 25 and uh, in 200 percentage symbol that is common 25 4 times 100 40 into 4 160 160 percentage 160 percentage that is the required answer for this question here the meaning of this question is uh, here the navy soldiers in the year 2009 was 160 percentage of uh, army soldiers in the year 2006 uh, among the options option c is the right choice for this question option c let us look at the third question the third question is uh, if 30 percentage of soldiers recruited in air force in the year 2010 were females here we are talking about the year 2010 we are talking about 2010 and that too we are talking about which force air force air force is the middle value middle value is uh, here it is 90 exactly right so 2010 2010 air force value air force value is equal to 90000 all the values are given in terms of uh, 
thousand. So that is ninety thousand. And next, uh, given that thirty percentage of the members were females, in this ninety thousand, in this ninety thousand, females and males are divided. Thirty percentage are females. Automatically, remaining seventy percentage are males. Remaining seventy percentage are males. Now the question: What is asking is, uh, what is the number of males recruited in Air Force in that year? In this year, we need to calculate what is the number of uh, males recruited. Males recruited are seventy percentage of ninety thousand, right? Whereas females are thirty percentage of ninety thousand. Okay, so the number of males which is equal to number of males which is equal to ninety thousand. In this ninety thousand, only seventy percentage are males. Now you can cancel these two values, two zeros, two zeros, two zeros cancel. Seven nine sir, seven nine sir, sixty three. Sixty-three and three zeros are there. Sixty-three thousand number of males uh, which are recruited from Air Force in the year two thousand ten. That is sixty-three thousand. Sixty-three thousand. That is the required answer, which is option A. Option A is the right answer for this question. Next one. Last but one question. What was the respective ratio between the number of soldiers recruited for Air Force in the year 2005? Here we need to take Air Force. We need to take Air Force in the year 2005, and the number of soldiers recruited Army in the year 2009. Army in the year 2009. This is the ratio we need to calculate. First, 2005 Air Force. Air Force is the middle bar. Middle bar value is 10. And coming to the second value, 2009. That is this year. Army. Army is the first bar. Army is the first bar. Here the first bar is in between these two lines. These two lines are. 70 and 80, so this value becomes 75. This value becomes 75. Now you can cancel with five table. Five two sir, five fifteen sir. The ratio of these two values, that is two is to fifteen. Two is to fifteen is the right answer for this question. Option A, that is the right answer. Last question in this session. What was the approximate percentage decrease? Here we need to calculate percentage decrease, not uh, exact value, only approximate percentage decrease uh, in number of soldiers recruited in Army 2008, 2008 Army as comparing with previous year, as comparing with previous year. Here we are talking about Army candidates. Army candidates are belongs to first category, first bar. Here in 2008, the bar line is 30, whereas 2007 the value is in between these two values, that is 40 and 50, which is 45. Now it is very easy to calculate the percentage decrement. How can we calculate percentage decrement? Percentage decrement is equal to Percentage decrement. Percentage decrement is nothing but difference between those two values divided by high value divided by high value into hundred divided by high value into hundred, which is nothing but percentage decrement is equal to here one value is forty five, one value is thirty. Forty-five minus thirty, forty-five minus thirty divided by highest value that is forty-five again into hundred percentage. Here this value is fifteen uh, divided by forty-five into hundred. 
here it is 15 ones 15 three times 1 by 3 into 100 1 by 3 into 100 which is equal to 33 1 by 3 percentage but we want the approximate percentage percentage decrement that is this one we want the approximate value therefore approximate percentage decrement is equal to percentage decrement is equal to we can round it off to 33 percentage 33 percentage that is the required answer for this question option e is the right answer for this question option e in this way we need to solve the questions related to this kind of bar graph problems and i hope you understand each and every problem thank you thanks for watching